So we are celebrating 50 years of hip hop. We are. Yes. Oh my goodness. And you've had such a major impact on the culture. Can you think back at some outstanding moments that really stuck out to you during your journey? Oh my God. For me, of course, you know, I feel like dance was underrepresented this year. You know what I'm saying? And usually they just go straight to the Rocksteady crew and the breakers and all that other stuff. So for me, I represent the golden era of hip hop. So all the 90s dances, the living color girls, I represent living single. Um, before the video vixens, but for me, most of my work, again, living single was something that was that changed my life. Uh, working with Michael Jackson, Remember the Time, another project that just changed my life. And those conversations I can't have anymore, right? Michael's not here, Whitney's not here, I did I'm Every Woman as a choreographer and a dancer. Um, Heavy D's not here, John Singleton's not here. So, so many people who really did like hardcore creative stuff are not here to have those conversations with, so I'm glad that I was part of the culture and I can kind of continue it. So I'm working on a dance documentary so I can kind of share our stories behind the scenes and tell what it was like to work with Michael and Whitney and Janet and John and all these people. Give us a tease though, what was it like working with, let's say Michael and Whitney? Well, listen, Michael was a dream because first of all, they gave us like paperwork like this. It looked like an encyclopedia. Don't talk to him. Don't look at him. All this stuff. Oh, there were rules. Oh, there was definitely rules of engagement because you know everybody was breathing down mm -hmm. his neck. Yeah. But um, you know, most artists always kind of gravitate towards the dancers, and mm -hmm. so he was really all about hanging with us. And he was cursing in front of us, and we were in the corner making moves. So it turned out to be like the dopest experience ever. And unfortunately, you guys found out too late that Whitney is like the around the way girl. Right. Like she's the ultimate home girl. You know, double judge pop and gum, talk and smack the hair salon. And so having danced for Bobby, and she was always on the road with us and you know, there with the baby and I was at their wedding and she was like homegirl number one. And if you see my Instagram post, I know this is gonna show up later, but go on my page, you'll see me, Whitney, Penny Marshall, all of us like hanging out. And so that was the kind of, she was a hangout girl. She was good. Those were some special moments. Yeah, very, very dope, I love it. So who is your top five, would you say? Male or female? Go ahead and give it to us. Of what? Hip hop? Hip hop. Artists? You're Hip -hop. killing me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's like the pressure question. I am the biggest Jay Z fan all day. Um, I love MC Light. Okay. Uh, I definitely love now Lola Brooke. I'm all over her. I do love how Koi Ray is kind of flowing because mm -hmm. she's giving me like rock star, pop star status. Okay. Um, but keeping it old school, EPMD. Okay. Love them all day. Nas is my guy because yeah. we're queens all day in the building. <laughs> so you know, I don't know what order because then tomorrow it'll change and it'll be like Biggie and then Pac and then, you know, Mob Deep. So my brain is all over the place. No, I love that you gave us new school and old school. Well, I had to. Yeah. I'm not turning my nose up at the new school. Mm -hmm. You know, even if I need subtitles on some of the mumble rap or whatever the case is, yeah. I still get it and I'm here for the beats and the funk and the vibe and all of that. So it's hip hop and I love how it's evolving. I love that. Thank you. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Big Laz. You're around the way, girl. You're a rap city chick. And guess what? You've just been buzzed. <laughs> Halftime spot. Shout yeah. beats. <laughs> now, I told you, he has been liking five to trillion more videos than me. I thought I had the record down. You got me beat, man. You watch those school Wednesday. All you see is Fat Joe in the back chilling, representing since he was like Whoa. 10. I'm just like Wild Doe, man. Wild Doe of rap. Okay. You know what I mean? Pop it up. Your video ain't.